All right, now that we're on to the Outlook side of things, I'm going to go through the layout of the Outlook app just like I did with the PowerPoint and the Word apps. So to start off, we'll start off in the upper left-hand corner with the focus bar. So this is the emails that you get from people that you know and often reply to. Uh, and then the other tab next to it is usually promotional items or sales items. Uh, and inbox, the inbox in Outlook will kind of learn as you go. So you can build up from what emails you're replying to and if you often respond to those people. So now we'll move over to the filter option. So if you click on filter, you have a couple options, unread, flagged, and attachments. You're able to weed out your emails of what you're looking for for emails that you haven't read yet. Um, that you flagged in your pet in the past that you want to get back to or emails that have attachments in them. Um, the other option is the pen tool up there which will create a new message for you. From there you can um, draft a message like you would in the normal Outlook apps. Who's it to? The subject line and then fill in the body. Close out of that. Now we'll move over to this right hand pane. You can see I have a message up uh, to an agenda meeting. So you can reply right at the bottom as you see. If you click reply, reply all, it'll bring up your keyboard and you can type in your message to respond to that. Or you can go up to this top right hand corner and click these three dots. You have a couple different options here. Um, you can schedule, uh, put this on your schedule. You can move to another inbox. So if you want um, a rule to be set to always move to another inbox or a folder that you have set up, uh, you can directly move it to a folder. You can print it, mark as unread or flag. Next to those three dots is a garbage can, which should make sense. That's your trash. So if you click on that, it's going to delete this email. And then that little box that's next to the trash can will archive it for later. So now at the bottom, you see you have a couple options. Your mail, your calendar. If you click on that, it will bring up your days of the week, what you have going on, your files that you have, and then the people that you have, your contacts. So now... We'll go back over to that top left hand corner and those three bars, click on those and it'll bring over a section of what you have going on here. So the first thing, um, you can see that I have, I'm only logged into my Office 365 email. This mail with the plus sign gives you the ability to add any other email accounts that you have. So if you like to get all your email in one place, the Outlook app is very handy with that. Um, and then from there you can look through the folders that you have set up. Your inbox, the 14 next to the inbox means the messages that I have not read yet. Um, and then you can scroll down and look at all the other folders that you have set up and look in those and create new folders as well. And then if you go to the gear option down here, uh, it'll kind of just give you more options uh, for your outlook, kind of the noises that you would like to be set for your notifications, for calendar, for email, um, and also adding integrations and add-ins. So that's really the basic layout of Outlook, so we'll go ahead and move on to the next video.